Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Electric TV. I'm your host, Tom Green. Well, the beginning of 2012 is the beginning of a new era for NECA, as President Rex Ferry rides off into the sunset and his replacement, Dennis Quibi, hits the ground running. Mr. Quibi sat down with CEO John Grau and ETV's Bob Miskey to talk about the NECA show 2011, the agenda for NECA in 2012, and how NECA continues to provide value to not only their members, but also their customers. Greetings from the stage in the Grand Ballroom here in San Diego at the 2011 NECA convention and show. I have the pleasure of being joined by NECA CEO John Grau and incoming President Dennis Quibi. Gentlemen, thanks for taking a moment. Thank you. Yeah. John, how's it going? It's going incredibly well. We really, um, we got a bigger attendance this year. Uh, we added some square footage to the trade show, I think about 6,000 square feet more uh, on the trade show. Um, People seem to be happy. I mean, we had a great opening reception. We had uh, uh, good programs, speakers, educational programs. I, I can't think of uh, much that's gone wrong, so it's great. Great. Dennis, as a, as a contractor, what, what do you and your peers look forward to getting out of a big event like this every year? Well, I get, you know, number one, as John addressed, is the, uh, the educational component. And with the uh, emerging, uh, emerging uh, technologies that we have and the energy uh, forum that we uh, currently put on this time here, that's, uh, I think that's probably been the greatest strides that we've made. And we've heard a lot of positive feedback uh, about having the uh, governor's uh, meeting on a Friday afternoon versus coming in and having it Saturday and they're not able to participate in some of these programs. The other nice thing, it backs right up to cocktail hour, so I think everybody enjoyed, you know, you finish the meeting, you can go off yeah, and, sure. and enjoy your evening. That's you know, right. So it worked well, out. Well, speaking of cocktail hour, as you've had a chance to socialize, I'll throw this open to both of you, with, with your colleagues and you've had a chance to kind of uh, just sit around and, uh, and, and chat and visit, what, what are you hearing? Are you hearing any sort of theme or consensus uh, of, your, of your members as they, as they look at their place in the industry and the economy right now? You know, to me, it's getting work. I mean, that, that's, I know that's on the mind of electrical contractors everywhere. Now, they, they, uh, they maybe look at NECA for different things. Getting work is a big thing on their mind. Now, you know, with NECA, it's also a labor relations component all the time about that's what they look at NECA to do, help us work with our unions to get the right kind of labor agreements, flexible labor agreements. Dennis, what, what's on the top of your to-do list as you as you begin your term as, as president? Well, number one would, would be, uh, as John addressed, I mean, uh, labor relations is our, is our central mission. The economy highlights, you know, some of the, uh, some of our, uh, I guess the, the cracks in our in our business model, so so to speak, the inflexibility inflexibility that uh, that we experience, and and that's some of the things that we're trying to overcome in our labor relations uh, session, and dealing with our with our pension plans, and also with the health and welfare uh, that's coming up. So, those are uh, those are two major items that uh, our our contractors are very concerned about, and especially in today's economy. John, as you as you look down the road, from from your vantage point, moving forward, what do you see as real NECA strengths? Things that uh, really give you uh, a hope and encouragement for the future, and 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 what else do you think that perhaps maybe needs a little more uh, attention? Yeah, you, you know, I think the nice thing NECA has been around a long time, and we've built up this organization that I think is very powerful. We have, I mean, I feel I have a great staff who who are experts in their field and we offer a whole range of services and uh, and things for our members so I think that's still there and and we can use that to help us in the future now we have challenges of course and I know one of the things the executive committee charged me with is we're losing some membership and you know it's for a lot of reasons it's uh, mainly the economy and, and things changing but they said you know we got to build up our membership and particularly concentrate on services um, too many times maybe we look at a certain type of contractor, the large contractor and what we're doing, somebody who's a, a bigger operation, but there's a lot of small contractors need some very basic services and we have to provide those to them um, in the right way and they, they can't always come to a convention like this. Dennis, you have anything you'd like to add to that? The one thing that uh, I would like to point out is the fact that uh, you know, it's not like John and I are just coming into this relationship together. 
Uh, I served as a District 2 Vice President for four years. I served as a President-elect uh, for a year, so uh, John knows my agenda. He knows what page I'm on. I know what he, page he's on, so uh, I look forward to the next three years in working with John because I know that uh, together we can uh, advance our industry. It's always a little difference in transition. It's not so much in philosophy or anything, but people are all different, you know, and, and Dennis is not Rex and Rex is not Dennis, but as he said, we've been working together for a while, and so I don't think, I think it's going to be seamless. We're just going to take off and get things done. So. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Good luck as we all go down this road together. Let's go ahead and throw it back to the studio. Thanks, Bob. That's it for this edition of Electric TV. Thanks for being with us. I'm Tom Green. We'll see you soon.